We're outside the Gold Coast event, ready to take Piper in to help his ear. See Piper's ear right there? Okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's really swollen, so we're gonna go and check it out for that. The milk broke, correct? That is exactly what they are for. So the Profecto does the clean tip and the milk broke does your worm. Um, and um, there has actually, we've had two pets this week that have had tips. Um, so they're packed this way, so that's probably where the cream cross and just you know, making sure to put notification out there. Afternoon at 4 50 pm, does that work? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're just back from the vets with Piper here and it turns out that I was partly right but also partly wrong. So Piper does actually have otitis externa, so infections of both of his outer ears. Um, the vet took a swab of the ears and it turns out that it's actually a yeast infection called Malassezi um, canis, which is specific to dogs. Um, and, but this swelling on the ear isn't actually an abscess. I thought it might've been an abscess, but it's actually a hematoma. So essentially a big collection of blood. Um, so with Piper scratching his ear, what's happened is disrupted a blood vessel and blood has accumulated in his ear between the inner and outer surface of the cartilage. Unfortunately though, so it's good that it's not infected, but unfortunately it does need surgery because apparently if you leave it like this, it will eventually shrink away, but if it's happened in the ears like this and it, and it sh eventually shrinks down, the ear becomes malformed and it can actually close off the external ear canal. Um, so the vet there had a look, he knew instantly what was wrong. He, as I said, he did, oh sorry, this is a pipe, I didn't mean to do that. Um, he cleaned out his ear because there was a lot of ear wax in, in both of the ear canals, took swabs, had a look, and thankfully it's actually yeast infection rather than a bacterial infection called pseudomonas because that can be a lot more difficult to treat. So, the easier part is that we do have some antibiotic uh, eardrops, um, dermotic for dogs, uh, which contains anti-yeast, anti-fungal, as well as a steroid. Uh, Piper also had a steroid injection just to help ease down the inflammation and the pain. But unfortunately, Piper does, uh, so in these drops, so it's two drops each ear twice a day. So he's already had um, one light at the vets, so we'll need to continue this. Um, unfortunately though, Piper will need surgery on Monday to help drain this. So what's gonna happen on Monday is it needs to be under anesthetic. So Piper will be asleep and he's gonna have multiple punch biopsies of the inner ear, six millimeter punch biopsies to help drain out the clot. And then the little punch biopsies need to remain open to help let it continue draining. So he's gonna have actually little nylon sutures in the punch biopsies to help keep it open and help keep it draining and those sutures will be in there for three weeks. And it's just a day procedure, so we'll be picking them up again on Monday afternoon. Okay, Spencer, you ready to give Piper his antibiotic eardrops? Okay, Piper, so here we go. He's got these eardrops, we'll put them in the better ear first. Leave the more tender ear to last. So you've got to turn them a bit on the side. Now the vet said you don't, this, you don't need to worry about um, stick, about sticking it in. I mean, obviously don't stick it all the way in, but stick it in, give a couple of drops, and then you've got to massage it in. It's actually good to massage it in, so he said uh, afterwards, don't worry too much if he, um, and before Spencer eats the antibiotics, I'll just give it back. Yeah, they're dog antibiotics. They're not baby. Okay. And then, the other ear. Okay, here we go. A couple of drops. Okay, that, that goes. And give it a good rub. Got to be a bit more careful because that's his tender ear. And there we go. Okay, ready to let him go? That's Yeah, so the vet said that, didn't he? That, that after getting the drops, he's allowed a scratch because it actually dispenses the medicine better. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. 
Yeah, Papa said he's eating medicine.